fears that a loss like this might have? No, nah, you never go into the game think you're going to lose. Um, actually, um, as a team, we felt like we had our best week of practice. Um, but when you don't execute at a high level, you could get beat any Saturday. So um, we didn't come in with a mentality, feel like we got all these mistakes. We came in actually on a high note, thinking we had a really good week of practice. Uh, Doug? Terry, when you guys had the Iowa loss last year, what did you do to get it right after that Iowa loss? And is this team capable of doing that now? Uh, I believe we are. Uh, we stuck together. You know, we had a really good group of leaders. Then I feel like we have a really good group of leaders now. Um, Billy Price spoke to us, said some words, and Isaiah took the same thing. So, you know, our program is, is prided on our O line and D line. For somebody to step up like that and say something in a time like this, it's necessary. But um, there's no point in fingers. We just all got to look in the mirror, see, look in the mirror, and see what we could have did better. Uh, we got hit in the mouth, but um, it's about how you come back from it. Terry, when you guys put up as many yards as you did as an offense that only scored 20 points, does, do some things drastically have to change on offense and what you're trying to do schematically, or does it just get better what you do? I feel like it's just execution. Um, you know, our plays work. We've been running the same plays all year. Um, defense got some stops. And as an offense, we just want to execute a lot better. Um, but we're not pointing fingers. We just run the plays that our coaches call and um, that we practice all, all week. Over here to the left, Bill. Terry, you've been here a long time. You're one of the leaders on this team. Um, how would you describe the mentality of this team? Is, is, is this a tough team? Is this team tough enough to do what you guys want to do? Um, I feel like um, the top, our leaders are really tough, and we just got to make sure that permeates throughout everybody. Uh, I remember being a young guy and, and feeling a loss. Um, you know, But when you're so invested as an older guy, it hurts even more. So uh, my, my message to some of the older leaders is we just got to make sure everybody feels um, like this is life or death. This is just not football. Like I come out here every single day. This is this is all I do in school. That's it. And um, I just my main message going forward is just we got to treat this like it's life or death. I mean I know we're not in war or anything like that. I would never disrespect what those guys do, but th that type of mentality where you're going into battle with somebody's trying to knock you off, if you don't come ready to go, this happens. Is part of the, I know there's a lot of things that can be fixed, but is, is part of it you're just getting pushed around a little bit? Um. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Um, personally, I just try to focus on what I do on the perimeter, make the plays when they come to me. But um, obviously, I feel like we could get more get more tough. And we're, this is going to be the last question over here, Tim. Yeah. Terry, who stepped up in the locker room tonight post-game? I like Billy Price did last 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 year. Uh, Isaiah Prince said some words to us. I'm not going to get into specifics, but um, you know, similar to what Billy was saying last year. But when it's coming from your old line, the, that's, that's a heart, heartbeat of our team. And um, I just hope everybody's in there listening and looking how we're going to get better from this. And, and life is, you know, you can't say everything goes good when we come back and beat a Penn State, but and we, we lose this and it's like, oh, what was me? Um, you got you to take the good with the bad and you just got to look how you could get better personally. And what changed after that Iowa game last year? What do you remember changing? Um, there was just a, there was a more seriousness that everybody took about it. I mean, when you're on a roll, you just, it's not like you feel like you can't get touched, but you don't know what that taste is like to lose. And it almost makes you recalibrate and, and get your mind right, look yourself in the mirror, all of us men in the locker room, and see what you could do to get better, not what the guy next to you could do, what you can do. And as a leader, that's my job, to make sure everybody feels that. Great. Terry, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.